I, I was just going through a lot of a mental battle just on my job, and then I look at it now how, how things are, you know, how, how, how people were like, I just thought we would never talk again, and how God just made everything over and made everything new, and just what prayer can do. And I just truly just thank God for what He's doing. And you know, look, tests and trials that come up, you know, there's Paul when you look back at it, you're like, Lord, I went through that, and I thought it was so big, I thought I couldn't go to work, I was looking for another job, but you know, just. Sometimes the battle is in your mind is with, within you, but I truly thank God for the Holy Ghost for you know allowing me to go through different things to get these tones. I truly want to be His child, want to be able to pray and call out to Him because I know God is my Father. I know if, if I cry out to Him, I want God to be able to hear my prayer. I may not wear or oh, I want to be, but I'm truly subscribing on this holy highway. So see you, pray for me, brother, like that. When my friend. Walk away and turn back on me.
toddler, yeah. elementary, middle school, high school, and even when I went off to Omaha to Chicago and know nobody, the Lord has been a fence around me. Yes, Jesus. I thank you, the Lord, for that. And I remember when I moved back to Nebraska, I should home, I went back and I was listening to this um, pastor's name is Bishop Sheldon. And I said, that's somebody who's preaching the same thing Bishop Reed preached. And I recorded the tape and I sent it home to mom. He was a white pastor, but he teach holiness just like Bishop Reed did. Yes. And I just thank the Lord for, you know, even allowing me to find that on the radio. Amen. And I just thank the Lord, you know, looking at it from way back then to, to even now. And I Right now, I'm 70 years old, and I think about, you know, listening to people say, you know, I'm this age, and, you know, it's about time, you know, about the time you get that age, you, you're the only way out, and that, that is true because, you know, you, you, you ain't as strong as you used to be. I mean, you, I mean, you're just not as strong as you used to be, and, and I tell you, and I was, you know, after I retired, I just found myself, you know what, I, um, I thought I was teaching my granddaughter, and one of the grandsons, and then after Crystal we saw that she was going to go over to the other grandparent house. And she was going to go out and go back to work. I said, I'm, I'm just going to board around the house. And I came back and I wore out. <laughs> I am truly wore out. But I thank the Lord for, you know, him letting me see that I said I was bored. But I, I'm, not, I'm not bored at all. I'm always busy. And I said, that's what it is. I, I just need to move. And I know we control last I was just. So I said, I know why because I just had not did that. Mm -hmm. But I just thanking the Lord for touching my body, yes. giving me strength, backing my limbs. When you get up age and when you used to be um, active and you're not active no more, and you know you can feel it. But I just thanking the Lord for blessing me now, not to feel sore. But I say it's <laughs> the children, it's something else. <laughs> but I thank the Lord for mine and. I Continue praying for my children and my grand, asking the Lord to, you know, you know, to touch their mind. You know, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In their mind, because it is a mind. You know, you yeah. got to have the right mind. There's so many people that's not in their right mind today. Thank you, Lord. They, 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 they didn't hurry, but I just don't pray. I said, talk to Jesus. You know, that's what I do. I talk to Jesus. And I thank the Lord for hearing me. I thank him for protecting me and my boy and my son. My down sitting in my uprising, and I pray for everybody. I pray for all the saints of God and their families. You know, I don't know what y'all going through. Y'all don't know what I'm going through. But I know people ask for prayer. You know, they've got grieving families among us and sickness and all family all around. But I just ask the Lord to bless all yeah. the saints of God and their, and their families. Because I know the saints of God is praying for me and my family. So right back at you. And I ask the Lord to bless everybody. Because we all need a blessing from the Lord, and there's so much happening in the land. I just don't want to get caught up. I just want to be caught up in Jesus.
my extremity. So good to me, even when I didn't see you no know, clear path. God has really, he's made a clear path for me. I just thank him for why he's just keep on, he keep on keeping me, you know. Even when I don't have the courage, I just thank God for giving me the courage when I pray, you know. I thank God for prayers. I just thank God for just keeping me throughout the semester of school. Today was my last day. I took my last exam. I just thank God for the little to get a break, you know, and I was just, you know, Thank so you, busy Lord. with school and work, you know, I just don't want the Lord to think, you know, that I'm putting him behind, because I truly want him to know that he is first in everything I do, that's why I praise him and I thank him in everything I do, yes. I thank God for that mindset and that mentality, I thank God for my growth mindset, I just thank, thank God for Lord. just continuing to develop my mind in him and his word. And I just ask God, whatever I don't understand, help me to understand. I just thank God for just bringing little things throughout this little journey, you know, to just motivate me, saints. Um, God, a few days ago, I checked my account, my savings account, and it was $500 deposited into my account. And I don't know how it got there. It just said an electronic deposit. And I just thank God for that. I, I don't want to question it, you know, but I just thank God because he just really knew that I needed that at that time and moment. So I just thank God for that. And I just, these, these little things, you know, it just gives me motivation to just keep on pushing on and just keep on praying and seeking for the Holy Ghost because I truly know that God is there. If I just keep obeying his word and doing what he wants me to do, I know he's going to answer his promise. So since I just ask all of you just to continue to pray for me, Just that day before she called me, I was looking for a pair of a house shoes. Because the one I had, you know, kind of worn out and got loose. I was looking, I said, I don't get me some house shoes. I had searched all over, you know. And when I got to uh, Atlanta, sure enough, you know, she had me a pair of house shoes, you know. And, I, and she didn't know what I needed, but the Lord knew what I needed. You know, that's, you know what I needed.
back to the place of worship, the worship of the Lord, the Spirit, and the truth. I'm grateful to God for each and every one that is here present in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We just thank God for those that are absent. We just pray that God will continue to bless each and every one in their respective places. Always glad for the people of God everywhere that have a mind to want to do what the Lord say do because we thank God for the words and information that is given to us from God so we would know how we are to live if we want to be saved. The whole objective is we're trying to save our souls. Amen. Amen. And we Amen. just hope and pray that God will help us to be all what he would have us to be because look, God is a God that is a righteous, holy God, and we just thank God for his mercy that he shows towards us time after time. We thank God for his mercy that he showed towards us through his son, Jesus Christ. Yes. And we just thank God that he be an advocate and a mediator for us and a great high priest and things pertaining to God. We are certainly glad for that to know that we have someone just in case we happen to slip and fall, right? Yes. Because the scripture teaches us that even a just man falls seven times. Seven times. Ain't that amazing? Amen. When you do something, yes. you get up. Amen. Amen. You don't, in the natural, you don't fall down and stay down. Amen. If you can get up, you got to get up. That's right. You might fall in, among people and you may be embarrassed but you still try to get up. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. So that's the way it is in the way of godliness. God give us information about how we should be. We're, we're always glad. Be glad always for the word of God. Be always glad for the word, the thing that gives us the information about God and how God wants us as a people to live. Amen. Not going to hold you long tonight. Uh, Rick, get the 131st Division of Psalms. We thank God for you. May God that will bless all of you and keep you. God, God pray. We um, will strengthen us in every area of our lives. Amen. Let his will be ever done in our lives. Glad to see all of you here. My name is Jesus Christ. I see my baby sister Lynn uh, over here. Glad you finished you're able to get through the school. Yeah. And that's a blessing. Thank God you're able to see you. Yeah. All right, we're going to get started real quick, Rick. 131 1. 131 1. We ain't going to hold you long. 131 Psalms 1. Lord. Lord. My heart is not halted. Well, Lord, I want to tell you something about this. <laughs> yes. When you look at halted, David is letting us know, Lord, my heart is not arrogant. Mm -hmm. My heart is not self admiring. Sometimes we can get into ourselves, you know, can we? Yes, sir. But here David said, Lord, my heart ain't halted. You know, I'm, 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 not, I'm not arrogantly self admiring. You know, in today's society, people are into themselves a lot, aren't they? That's right. Amen. I mean, we, we, we do know that. I, I, I hope we, do, we realize that. Mm -hmm. That people are more into themselves. You know, it's, you know, a lot of people, you know, take, I used to see more people take pictures of themselves. <laughs> you know, so they're into themselves. Amen. You know, into themselves so much so, you know, there are some of us that have gotten Tattoo using yourself, aren't you? Amen. You want somebody to see, to see this. It, it says, but the, the psalmist here says, I'm not haughty, Lord. Lord, my heart. my heart is not haughty. Look at what he said, my heart. See, what's in a man's heart, that's what comes out of it. Amen. Is that right? Amen. That's why we're going to write things in our heart. Amen. He talked about it with Luke, what? What was in the heart? He said, "The heart is the most deceitful thing. It is That's right. the heart is, That's right. and we have to be careful. We want we want to have the right thing in our heart. That's right. 
Amen. 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 That's what God wants to say. I want to have the right things in our heart. Amen. Amen. Each Amen. day, every day. What he said? Lord. Lord. My heart is not haughty. My heart is not haughty. Nor are my eyes lofty. Neither are my eyes. Stop talking about his eyes. Neither are my eyes lofty. lofty. You know, sometimes people have lofty ways. That's, you know, we look at the word lofty. And that's a part of arrogance. That's just not part of being snobbish. That's a part of being scornful. See, our heart, our eyes, all it has to be in con condition according to the Word of God. See, the Word of God conditions us, don't it? Amen. You know, it, 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 it does. It, the Word brings us to what we're supposed to be. That's right. It brings us to what we're supposed to be in life. And sometimes we it gets tough. It's just like a, a, a parent raising the children. I didn't all the time want to whip my children, but I had to. I'm sure you probably, your parents didn't want to whip you, but they had to. And now today's society, children are so, they'll cuss out and tell you what they're going to do. Because they don't do like God say. God say, spare the rod to spoil the child. Fools is bound in the heart of a child. So when we deter from what the word of God says, there's always consequences. Amen. It doesn't matter what it is. It's cotton whenever we deter from what God. That's why we pray. That's why we pray. Lord, help us to be what we, we should be. Amen. I may not be all the way up here, but Lord, help me to get there. That's why I thank God for Jesus Christ. Yes. The mediator. Thank you, the Jesus. potentate. The advocate. Lord, thank God for someone that's there. Yes. That Amen. I can talk to about who? Myself. Is that right? Amen. Amen. But this is how things are. Mm -hmm. What he said? Neither do I exercise myself in great matters. I don't even exercise myself in great matters. Amen. You know, getting into things that is of great matters. Amen. Jesus. Is that right? Amen. 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 Some people do it. They, they, they want to do it. They, that's a part of their life. But they don't want to, it, the psalmist say. Lord, I ain't even excited myself in great matters. I'm being careful about all that. We got to be careful about it. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. In every area of our life. Amen. 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 What else he said? Or, or in things too high for me. Or I get into things too high for me. I ain't getting myself all involved in things that's that's too high. Sometimes people allow themselves to get indulged in things that's way beyond their expectation, way beyond their, their imagination, their thought. They get themselves too deep into something. Have you ever gotten yourself too deep into something? Amen. You know, have you ever, you know, gotten yourself so deep into something that you think, oh man, goodness, I gotta, I gotta get out of this. You know, we, we, I think we all have experienced that. In area, you know, in, in, in natural, spiritual, all kind of ways that we can oh, find ourselves too deep in the sun. Oh, I was always taught years ago, uh, if you don't know it, then just uh, you don't you know, like some ministers, you know, and, and I, I don't try to be like this. I don't try to get myself into such great deep revelations and things. But sometimes you can get out there too far and you can get drowned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Amen. Because you can get so deep out there. And you know, everything is not a great revelation. Some things is already revealed, it's already there. Amen. So in your natural life, you have to be careful. Have you ever gotten too deep into something? In the natural. Man, I'm, I don't got too far into this thing yet now. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Yeah, right. But he's letting us know. We have to watch that. Mm -hmm. Not saying that it don't happen, it happens. It, it, it happen. See, one thing about the word of God saints and friends, is we fulfill it in areas of our life every day. We fulfill the word of God. Amen. Is that right? It's things that we, we, we involve in and do other work. It ain't all the time you say, oh, I'm doing this intentionally. But we get ourselves indulged in things and then we say, oh, okay. I see. That can happen with everybody. We, we are steady learning from what? The word of God. Amen. You're steady learning. Is that right? We yeah. all are. Yeah. 
Amen. We all, we all, we, we just keep learning. Is that right? Amen. And that's a beautiful thing to me. Amen. 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 That's just, that's the way life is, isn't it? Amen. I heard Brother Salem say, you know, you live and learn, Brother Larry, you die and forget it all. Amen. I was told that by 80, 80 some year old man, I used to be around. You live and learn, die and forget it all. Is that all right? All right, what he says, Rick. Surely I have behaved myself. Surely I have behaved and quieted myself. Uh -huh. As a child that is weaned of his mother. But I have I behaved myself and quieted myself as a child that is weaned. I want to still be home. Amen. Amen. See, a child that is weaned from his mama. See, those mothers that have breastfed your children. You, you know how it is. It can be hard on a mother sometimes. <laughs> Though I know sometimes you be wanting to get them off because they got them little pigs and they might bite you. Amen. You know, Amen. but still the, 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 the softness, the, the humbleness that a child, the look on that child's face when you know they desiring your breath. You know, but you, you tell them no. And here he is saying, surely, surely I, I have behaved I have behaved and quieted myself and quieted myself as a child that is weaned of his mother. Uh -huh. As a child weaned of his mother, read. My soul is even as a weaned child. My soul, oh. even, even deep down in my soul, is that right? It's like a, a weaned child. Lord Jesus. Is that right? Yeah. A weaned child. That child is that's, that's a hurting child. Child ain't getting what he really wants. That's right. Can't get it. Can't get to that what he wants. Mm -hmm. So it has it has to humble itself. Read the book. Let Israel hope in the Lord. But regardless of what happens, regardless of what comes, saints, you know what you want to keep doing. I don't care what happens. You want to keep hoping in the Lord. Amen. This is a faith way. This is a way that. You got to go through, go through, go through. Amen. It's a faith way. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Pray to the Lord Jesus to give strength, to give faith, to give courage. Thank you, Lord Jesus. To give you what you need. Thank you, Jesus. Keep seeking it for the Holy Ghost. Amen. You, you, you need it. You need it. Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Lord he Jesus. said what? Let Israel hope in the Let Lord. Let Israel hope in the Lord. Hope in the Lord. When you hope in the Lord, you know how far you don't hope. That's far as you can hope. Amen. Is that Jesus. right? Because he is our hope. And it's all by faith, isn't it? Amen. We don't see things. We don't see it, but it's all by we, we live in this life by faith. Amen. Sometimes you can get discouraged. Sometimes you can get is that right? Who can get discouraged? Everybody. Everybody. Amen. Amen. Sometimes it can seem as though you ain't even got what you looking for. Lord Jesus. Sometimes you want, Lord, where is the Spirit? Lord, help me. You can feel, in this way, you can feel all kind of ways of telling. Right, That's right. You can feel like not even continuing on sometimes. Amen. Just, just throw throwing the towel and forget it. Amen. You can feel that way. Amen. Amen. That's why David said, I have fainted. As I had seen the goodness of God. Some Amen. things you make you just feel like just forget it. That's right. It's like Jonah. Jonah didn't want to go to them. Another way. Amen. He didn't want to go. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. It's pressures and things that come upon you as a people that's serving God by faith. They just want to just forget it. Forget it. But it's all by faith. Psalms 130 verse 5. But it says, Rick. I wait for the Lord. I do what? I wait for the Lord. I do what? I wait for the Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. My soul doeth wait. And in his word do I hope. That's all we can hope. Hope in the word. Amen. Try to be obedient to God according to the word. That's what we have. That's what helps us. We have the word. Lord, we got to be like the word say. Is that right? Amen. Amen. All of us got to all be like the words if we want to come up with what God say. Because it, it ain't my salvation. It, 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 it's the Lord. Is that right? Amen. It's the Lord. 
I, I what? I wait for the Lord. I wait for the Lord. My soul doeth wait. My soul wait. Read. And in his word do I hope. That's all we got. What else we got? Amen. What else are we hoping in? Amen. What else are we putting our faith? We, we striving to want to be like the Lord say. Amen. Through ups and downs. Oh Lord, thou know my David say, you know my down fairly. You know my upright. Through ups and downs. Lord, I'm still want to hope in you. Because sometimes you can feel discouraged, can't you? Amen. Yeah, but still, you still hope, you still hold on. Hold on. Amen. Is that right? Thank you, Jesus. Life ain't, life ain't gonna be, be you, milking on it. You're gonna have to. Job didn't already said it. He didn't already say it to us. Thank you, Lord. Man that was born of woman though a few days and full of trouble. That's right. Sometimes you can feel all kind of ways. You can get discouraged. You can get perplexed. You can get all feel all kind of ways. Yes. David said, unless I have seen the goodness of the Lord. In the land of the living. You keep looking to the Lord. Amen. Is that right? Amen. God said, what happened? You keep looking to the Lord. Amen. God wants to, he wants to come up to his standard. Amen. We got to come up to his holiness. Amen. We got to come up to his will. Amen. That's, what, that's what it's all about. Who? Everybody. Amen. Don't make no difference who it is. Everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Did you know the Lord going to judge everybody out of the same book? Same Does not, we all have one father. Amen. God ain't gonna get no all these different religions, all these different ideas and thoughts, and start judging people. Amen, he ain't gonna do that. Amen. We just know how Christ is in you. Know that He's there. Know that you have Him with you. Throughout all the disappointment, ups and downs, Amen. the things that come up, regardless of what it be, Thank still you. know that you got God in you. Amen. Still know that you have God in you. Still know that you want to continue to seek the Lord. Amen. I want to know you better, Lord. Amen. How well do you want to know him? How well do you want to get to know him? How well do you want to get to know him? Thank you, Lord. Jesus. I want to get to know you, Lord, better. Jesus. Amen. So the scripture says it's not, it's not you that do it, but it's God that worketh in you, both the will. It's God that gives you the will and the, the do of his good pleasure. Amen. When you do what God say, it's God giving you that mind. Amen. That's what's giving you that mind. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody over you with no sword and no, no stick Thank or you no, Lord. no gun. That's right. Ain't nobody, you, just, you just, Lord, I want to do your will. Right. Amen. Amen. Lord, I want to do Thank your will. I want to be saved. That's why I want to do your will. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus. Regardless, it means regardless of who it is. It be the preacher, it be the deacon, the mother, sister. It don't matter. But all of us trying to live and trying to go this way by faith. Amen. All of us have disappointments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Amen. Everybody have disappointments. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 We got to keep looking. What he says, Rick? I wait for the Lord. I wait for the Lord. My soul doeth wait. My soul. My and, soul do wait for and, the Lord. And in his word do I hope. And in his word. What are you hoping in tonight? Huh? We say that some of them come to this for by faith. Mm -hmm. It's the word we're hoping in. Mm -hmm. It's the word that we're hoping in. We are hoping. We all are hoping in the word. Those that have not been baptized, those that have not yet received the Holy Ghost, to see the Lord. Hope in the word. Believe God's word. Say, Lord, help me to do what your word says. Yeah. All of us. That's good for everybody. Amen. Everybody. I don't care where they are. Everybody, everywhere. We all trying to get there. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We trying to get to the point where we say, Well yeah. done, that good and faithful Jesus. servant. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. We just trying to get there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Is that what we get? We are all trying to get there. Amen. We all we are, we are all a part of the body. As we oftentimes say, every member of the body is what? Necessary. Y'all necessary. Y necessary. Amen. Amen. Is there a, every, all of us necessary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. All of us is necessary. Oh, no, but, you know, yes, you are. Everybody is necessary. Everybody. You part of you necessary. Amen. Amen. Amen, sir. Is that right? Amen. Amen. I was looking at this man, this guy, I, know, I can't think of his name, but he's so inspirational. He don't have feet. He don't have no legs, no arms, or nothing. And man, be preaching and teaching and it's almost like, man, I mean, to, to see that 
it'll make you just say, you know what, I, ain't, I don't have no kind of excuse. Mm -hmm. I don't have no kind of excuse to say I can't do this. Or that. That's right. When you see somebody that got no arms, no legs, Amen. and just feel just as Amen. he don't feel like down or burdened, it's like it's inspiration. Mm -hmm. You know, it's inspiration. So that's why that's why we should thank God. Mm -hmm. We can live, we can move, we can we can do things. Hallelujah. We can do thank things. you, Jesus. Bless. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. See, Jesus. To, to not have no arms or legs. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Now, Thank you. It's a lot of things that come to mind when you think about that. Yeah. How did this man eat? Yeah. How did this man bathe? Yeah. But I'm sure he got he has a wife and a child. Yes, he does. See, that goes to show me that love goes way beyond mm -hmm. what we think sometimes. That's right. right. She got to really love him. That's yes. right. Yeah. She got to love him. See, love is woo. Mm -hmm. Lord, help us to love. Amen. Teach us. Teach us how to love. Amen. It's more than word is wrong. Amen. Is that right? Amen. It's suffering in love. Yes, Lord it's, Jesus. It's, 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 it's hurtfulness in love. It's, there's got to be disappointment in love. Amen. Is that right? Jesus, teach it's us be, love. You know what, so I say, it's betrayal. Yeah. <laughs> it's betrayal in love. That's right. Jesus. Amen. No, it is me. Amen. Amen. Lord, so Lord help us but you look at things like that and you just say thank you Jesus Amen. you really do Amen. what it says right my soul waited for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning my soul waited for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning read the book I say more than they that watch for the morning I say more than they that watch for the morning let Israel hope in the Lord let Israel hope in the Lord for with the Lord there is mercy. With the Lord, hope in the Lord, but with him there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. Thank you, Jesus. Plenty of redemption. Is that all that? Is that that thirty first? Did you finish reading that? One thirty one. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Uh-huh. One thirty one verse three. Let's hear it, right? Let Israel hope in the Lord. Let Israel hope in the Lord. From henceforth, from right now, and forever. Hope in who y'all? The Lord. Lord. Amen. 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 Thank now, you, Jesus. Hope in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Be encouraged. Be encouraged in the Lord. Amen. Don't let the enemy disappoint you. Thank you, Jesus. Because he's got to bring you disappointment. Thank you, Jesus. You know, the enemy trying to mess us up with our man. He tried to do all this kind of stuff. Yes, he did. Yes. He's got to ward him off. Because he, 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 he like, he like a, he, he do something like a, he see our mind mm -hmm. with things. He'll see our mind, our heart. He'll mind. see it. He'll brand it. Mm -hmm. You know, you had cows long time ago. You know, you brand your cows so you know. So he'll try to see our minds with stuff. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Amen. But God is a loving God, a forgiving God. And let Israel hope in the Lord. So thanks. I'm glad for you. Thank you, Ray. We're glad for you. Continue to pray much one for another. Continue to pray for my uh, Alice, Mother Camilla, uh, Mother Edgerton, Mother Waiters, Mother, uh, all the mothers, all the mothers. I got a chance to go there and sit up there with Mother Waiters the other day. I think it was Monday. Uh, I was sit up there with her, talk with her, pray with her, feed her lunch. She ate, she ate pretty good. Yeah, she ate pretty good. So I'm glad, I'm glad to see that she was doing it. Much, much better. Thank God for that. Yes. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Well, I'm really glad to see that and sit up with it and just, you know, just, you know, just be there. You know, I thank, I thank God for that, for the chance and opportunity. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus. To be able to do that. And I, and I hope y'all pray for me that I can do more of that. Amen. Y'all pray for me that I can do more of that. Y'all pray for me. Y'all talk to God about it. Yes. Amen. Y'all hear what I say? It's already Amen. done. Amen. Yeah, already talk done. About, talk Thank you, Jesus. I it's done. 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 Talk to the Lord. See, because you talk to the Lord, you're hungry about me. Is that right? Yeah. I can be all the Lord. Because my objective from the day that God saved me, 
is I still want to be saved. Mm -hmm. I still want to be saved. Regardless of what happens. That's right. I want to be saved. Hallelujah. I want to be Jesus. saved. Thank you, Lord. I want to be saved. So, same. Amen. Be encouraged. Thank you, Jesus. I want to do all what the Lord would have us to do. Those that haven't been baptized, think about getting baptized. Thank you, Jesus. It's time for you to think about getting baptized. Is that Lord right? Jesus. Lord so Jesus. Your salvation ain't complete. Those yes, that Lord. don't have the Holy Ghost, think yes. about seeking the Lord for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. God's going out. Lord Lord Jesus. Still, God is still waiting on you. Amen. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Yes. Whatever, whatever problem that we have in our life, whatever mishaps, whatever happens. Let's, let's we sit and iron that stuff out, man. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. Don't be fornicating. Don't be committing adultery. You got to, you got to get all that stuff straight. Amen. Whatever it is that, that that's Thank not you, like Jesus. God, Thank you, Lord. we got to get it straight. We ain't saying we we the church on the top of the mountain because I don't know no church that's on the top of the mountain that's ready to go. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Amen. 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 See, a, hosp a hospital is for what? Sick people. people. Lord Jesus, help you, me, Lord. You, you help go to me, Jesus. Care, hospital, you ain't feeling good. So that's what we are. We about trying to get ourselves right. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. So one day we got to close Thank our Lord. eyes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Anybody Jesus. think their eyes ain't going to close? Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. All our eyes are closed. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Sooner Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You don't know when, but the thing is, we want to be right with God. Amen. Is that right? Hallelujah. Amen. You want to be right with Thank you, Jesus. Want to be right with Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Teach me. Guide us. Don't you, that what you want? Amen. Yeah, that's what we want. The enemy is going to try to fight us, though. Amen. He's going to try to fight us. That's his job. But be encouraged. Pray for me. Talk to God about me. Because I'm talking to God about you. Amen. Amen. I tell you for your faith. I'm talking to God about you. Amen. I'm, talking, I'm telling you, I'm talking to God about all of you. Amen. God my witness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't just saying this is real, for real. Thank you, Lord. So saints be encouraged. May God bless you. Sister Mika. One. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's good news. Good news. Good news. She may be married to her 13. So, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Her name is Monty. She may need the Holy Ghost. Mama told me the other day, Billy called. Thank you, Jesus. She may need the Holy Ghost. So, I know it's promised to all of us. Amen. It's not just the age, but I thank God. Thank you. That's a blessing. Lord Jesus. Jesus. Lord Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. That's a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord, to help them in that. Those that don't receive the Holy Ghost, they'll continue. You know, and not not just, you know, that go for any young person, not just receive it and then, then then get the joy and then when pressure time comes, stop. But you got to go through even when pressure comes. Amen. When the toughest time comes. Yeah, right. Holy Ghost is a keeper now. You know what the Holy Ghost is, don't you? It's power. You say he shall receive what? Power. You will see Jesus. Jesus. You will. Amen. So we thank God for all. Continue to pray for all the young people. God to help them because you got to encourage them in any way you can. Because the, the times that we're living in, they need encouragement. They need to be encouraged some kind of way. Because the enemy is fighting so hard. Fighting our children. So I don't want our children to come to church. Don't want our children to pray. Don't want our children. The enemy trying to stop. Want them to be more involved in the world and stuff. And I know we're not after that. Now we're the worldly parents. Then we, but it's different. We want our children to be right. But you know, we can't make them, but we can pray for them. And God can God can straighten. 
Can you do so? Amen. I believe it. I believe Amen. it. But well, see, I know what God did with me. I know how He chasing me. See, let me tell you something. I'm going to try to finish. God can get hold of any of y'all He wants to. Like he, he can get, it, you think you can get away? You can't get away. God can get you just like He wants. He got it. But the scripture said it like this Whom the Lord loveth, He chases. Now, you want the Lord to chase you? He can get you now. He, I'm So he got on the ship going to Tasha. But God not told him what to do. Told him where to go. Even these big, oh, I ain't going down. These people don't know the left hand from the right hand. They got a bunch of cows. But God has something in mind for those people. Is that right? So he had, when God got a hold of Jonah and finished with Jonah, right quickly, the scripture says, he got, it was a three day journey. Jonah got there. You mean to tell me God can get that behind you that much? So, you're in the hands of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Our children, in the hands of the Lord. But whom the Lord loveth, he chases. Man, God can make you so dissatisfied with stuff and make you wonder what's going on. God can do it. When God wants you, he'll get you. You ever been out in the yard trying to catch a hopping girl you see him? And he hopping, you see where he go. So God see everywhere you go. You just say, well, Lord, help me to do your will. Help me to get with it. Because you just got to realize he got control. He got control of you, your children, grandchildren, everybody. Ain't that a blessing? Then the Lord said like this. The Lord said, all souls. It's scripture coming to the line. Come on, y'all. We'll go. 